This is a tutorial on naming cells and naming um, cell regions and also absolute cell referencing. Uh, we're going to do that in two parts. The first part is just how to name a cell, um, and the second part is kind of the implications of cell naming. So naming cells is important, uh, especially when you use macros, um, because they're a little bit more finicky on what they're actually referencing. Um, but it's also important if you're giving the file to someone you want them to be able to understand all of the equations. So if we take a look at F70 here, it's um, just the present value, um, a simple present value. Um, so if we look at F70, we see that it's C70 plus 1 plus D70 to the E70. And that's a little bit, you know, if you go through and you click it, you can say, oh, okay, now I know what it's doing. It's dividing future value by 1 plus the interest rate to the um, number of periods. But if you give this to someone and they go to um, cell F70, they should be able to, m you know, more easily understand what it's doing without having to look through it themselves. So to do that, we're going to name cells. So to let's start with the future value. We're going to name this cell. And naming a cell assigns it an identity other than the um, default coordinates, which right now are C70. So click up into the name box, um, just single click and. We're going to type in a little description of it. So future underscore value. You have to use underscore. You can't use space. Um, and you can't start off with a number, but you can end with a number. So we're going to do future value and just press enter. Um, and now C7, C71, you see, it has the coordinates. But when we go up to um, C70, it says future value. So we'll do the same thing for um, interest rates. And we'll do the same thing for um, the number of periods. And we'll just name the present value. You don't really have to name the present value one, but we will for a later example. OK. So now all of these regions are named. Um, and if you had named those regions and then created your formula, you could have just done equals and then click here and it would say the future value rather than C70 but I pretend we weren't uh, smart enough to do that and we actually uh, named all or we made the formula and then named all the cells and we don't want to go back so we see now it says C70, D70, E70 um, now we want to do what's called applying names so to do that you click in the cell that you want to apply the names to you say pay or you say formulas and define name you click on the down arrow and you say apply names and it'll ask you which names you want to apply. And you can just click the ones that um, are important to that cell. And press OK. And now you see our equation changed um, in F70 changed from saying C70, D70 to actually saying that. So that's how to name a cell. You can also name regions. For instance, I could click this whole region right here and call it um, you know, description of example. And now if I click inside individual cells, it doesn't work. But when I select the whole region, it says description of example. So um, we also want to look, take a look at the name manager, which is under formulas, name manager. And it shows everything, all of the names you have. So right now we're in this MIP um, worksheet here, so we can click somewhere in there and say double click refers to and it'll sort um, which equations are actually or which name cell names um, are in that region there and you can edit them delete them so um, an important edit feature is um, you can say if you if for instance interest rates that could be different on every single sheet because you're in a model um, press edit and you can um, or this is you have to you have to do this while you're creating a name. So if I was um, to go to Name Manager and delete the description here, and now I was here, I could say, rather than clicking here and just writing the name, I could go to Define a Name, and then um, call this uh, Description of region and the scope this is what I was saying if you want to if you have something like interest rates up here and you have different interest rates in many different uh,
columns and you don't want, or in, in different uh, formulas you don't want to call them like interest rate one, interest rate two, interest rate three. Um, you could just make it so that it will only um, it will only be the that name in um, in that book. So this is in or in that in that sheet. So right now we're in the MIP sheet. So if we were to type in IR into another sheet, it wouldn't know that we were talking about the IR cell in the MIP sheet. That's clear. Okay, so that's how you name a cell. Now we're going to look at just the implications of naming cells. Um, down here I have a um, example. So this is kind of the three different ways of, of naming cells and referencing cells. Right now I just could type this equation equals all of this with the names in there. Um, and then here's how most people are used to doing it. For the unnamed, um, I can just type in, you know, what uh, what cells um, they are. And for absolute cell referencing, absolute cell referencing basically, you take the um, name cell referencing, and um, you highlight everything, and you hit the F4 button and that changes it to dollar signs in front of the column and the cell, or in the row. Um, and, F, and you'll see what F4 does in a second. So right now we have one that has the um, actual names, one that has absolute references, and one that has the unnamed references. So we select all three of these, and to drag it down a row, this will drag the formulas down a row, highlight your selection, and your um, plus sign turns into a smaller plus sign click once and drag down. Um, so now you'll see because of what we did here um, it's always absolute so it's future value in there and it retains its name future value or it retains the reference to the future value in absolute it does the same thing because absolute says no matter where I copy and paste this formula to for instance I could copy this formula over here it will always reference that cell but with the unnamed part if I were to copy this formula over here it would be referencing gibberish because it was moved over. So if we look, um, this is also referencing gibberish because when we dragged the formula that was referencing row 31 or row 71 down one, it is now referencing row 72, which is empty. So it'll give you a zero dollar equation. So that is um, naming rows or naming cells, naming regions. Absolute cell referencing and um, dragging the formulas down. So I hope that uh, helped. Just remember, once you change your name or change the name of a cell, um, make sure you say apply names. So that is it.